In this video, we're going to look at using a Google Cloud service account to access data in BigQuery with Analogs Canvas. In order to access your data in BigQuery, you need to create a Google Cloud project and have a Google BigQuery dataset within that project. Applications need to use service accounts in order to access data in Google BigQuery. With Analogs Canvas, your service account is available in your account under Admin, Access Your Own BigQuery. If you haven't yet created a Google Cloud project and a BigQuery dataset, let's start with that first. Log into BigQuery, and under the Project Selector, you can create a new project. We're going to use an existing project that we've already created. Under the project, we'll need to create a data set. To do that, we're going to connect, we're going to click the three dots here and say create data set. Give your data set a name and select a region where you want your data set to be. Then click create data set. Next, we'll ensure that the Google Cloud project is ready to be used by an application. After that, we'll make sure that Analogs Canvas can use that Google Cloud project. First, we'll need to make sure that certain APIs are enabled. Click on the Cloud Resource Manager API to see if it's enabled. If it's not, enable it. We'll do the same thing for the BigQuery API. Likely, it's already been enabled. And finally, the Google Cloud Storage API. With all these three enabled, we're ready for the next step. Now we can access our BigQuery data within Analogs Canvas online. There are two steps to this process. First, Analogs Canvas needs to be able to see the project that the data set is in. Then we need to provide Analogs Canvas with read or write access to the data set. Start by getting that Google Cloud service account for your project. There it is. Next, we're going to go to Google Cloud, to the Google Cloud console, to IAM, Identity and Access Management. We're going to make sure that we've selected the project that we want to write into or read from. And we're then going to grant access to that service account. Let's go ahead and do that. So here we are under IAM. We've chosen the project that we want to write into. And we'll grant access to our service account. The service account needs BigQuery read session user. This will allow Analytics Canvas to read the data set and read and see the project and display it to you. The final step is to go to BigQuery itself and for the data set and find the data set, then add that same service account with the read or write permissions. Let's do that next. For that same project, on the data set, we're going to go to sharing, permissions, add principal, add that same service account. And this time, because I want to write into this data set, I'm going to give it BigQuery data editor. While it says the policy was updated, it often can take up to 10 minutes before we actually see the data set in our Canvas. Let's go over to Canvas. Here I'm in a UA backup. I'm going to select my data set. Here I can't see any at the moment. But if I click Refresh All, and there's that data set. We can now select it, and I can write into it. That's it. We now have access to the data set. We can read to and write from it. If you can't see it for whatever reason, likely it's the BigQuery data location. You have to be, your canvas must be in the same data location as the BigQuery data set that it's trying to read from or write into. You can add different data locations under admin, BigQuery quota, quota and location, and add location. You can then create a canvas in that same region or a UA backup in that same region, and you'll be able to access that same BigQuery data set. If you need any support, Contact us at support at analyzecanvas.com.
Thanks.